Hey developers, today we're going to talk about Udemy. Is Udemy stealing people's content? Let's talk about it. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, I do a ton of different programming tutorials and advice videos. So if you like this type of content, click that subscribe button and that bell button, that really helps me. So let's begin. Hey, before we start, let me talk a little bit about how Udemy works. So the way Udemy makes money is they sell cheap $10 courses throughout the year at a number of times. Now, I know some people don't like that because what they're essentially doing is they're taking $190, $200 courses and they're selling them for 90, 95% off. Now at first you might be thinking that's not a great way to do business and I sometimes agree with you. However, the reason that they do that is because they like to sell products for cheap and people will buy them. So last year they actually stopped doing that. They actually stopped doing as many sales and a lot of creators on Udemy lost a lot of money. So they essentially went back to the way they used to do it. So that's pretty much Udemy's business model. They actually have tons of sales throughout the year. Most of their courses sell for like 10 to 12 bucks and I think that's a great way to do it. Now there is a little bit of controversy in the Udemy world right now because there are more and more people coming out saying that their content has been stolen. And what they mean by that is that some people are taking people's YouTube content and they're putting it up on Udemy as their own course. So just the other day, Chris Hawks, created a video where he talked about how people were stealing his content and putting it on Udemy. And at the same time, a couple of other YouTubers came out and talked about how Udemy uh, wasn't the greatest platform and that they've had content stolen too, including Travis e Media. So what I say for all this is that yes, there are people that are nefarious out there. They're taking YouTube content and they're repurposing it and putting it on Udemy and selling it as their own. But really those people are scammers. They, they are stealing people's content. Those aren't Udemy. Udemy is promoting this type of behavior. In fact, I've talked to people at Udemy and they hate this. They try to, as best they can to stop this type of people putting content online like this. So what should Udemy do? Should they start going through every single video submission and checking every single YouTube video to see any correlation? Well, of course they can't do that. I mean, obviously they can't do that. The biggest thing they can do probably is just to make sure that the videos that are being submitted have pretty high quality to them and they don't look like they're stitched together from other sources. So some of you might be saying like, YouTube has this problem too. People steal YouTube videos all the time and promote themselves as if those were the people that created those videos. And do you know what YouTube's solution to that is? Content ID. Yeah, content ID. ID is terrible. So if you aren't familiar with the content ID system on YouTube is a algorithm that scans every single upload and it checks for music and videos that are copyrighted or not. The problem being is this system sucks and half the time it actually gets it wrong. Most of the time you'll upload videos and it'll say that it's copyrighted or there's a problem with it or it won't monetize the video and 99% of the time it's not copyrighted material or you actually have permission to put that material up from the copyright owner or or it's just a five second clip, so it's fair use. So do we really want Udemy to start using a system like this? Do we really want them to start scanning every single upload? I think this is an impossible task. So the alternatives is that we have this crabby content ID system on one side, or we can just keep the system that we have in place now for Udemy. If I had those two choices, I'd rather just keep the way Udemy works right now. I mean, I don't think this is a widespread problem. I think it just happens every now and then. People steal people's content. Let me give you an example. I created the EmberJS cookbook just last year, and I've had plenty of people pirate that book. I'm sure if you look on Google right now, you could probably find like five or 10 links of people offering the book for free from very nefarious sites. And by the way, don't download those. You will might get a virus, so don't do that. Please don't. But I think anybody that's creating content on YouTube or creating books or anything, they're gonna get their content pirated. People are gonna steal their content and there's not too much we can do. So we really need to be blaming the people that are pirating these videos, not Udemy, not YouTube. We need to be going after these people that pirate it. The problem is, is that it's, what can you do? Like there's nothing you can do once these people pirate these videos. You can't go after them. I mean, they have some crazy PayPal account. Like they're probably the information they entered in is probably all fake. So I think right now, the only thing we can do is just be vigilant. If you see your favorite YouTube creator on Udemy or on another platform and things look suspicious, report it. And also if you see my videos anywhere, report it to me. If you see Brad's videos, if you see Dylan from Coding Tutorials 360 videos, you just need to report it, let us know we'll contact the right people and we'll get it taken down. The last thing we need to do is overreact and start blaming 
the actual platforms that have all this content on it. That's what I think we should. Hey, so thank you. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. And what do you guys think? What do you think we should do if people's videos are being pirated on Udemy or elsewhere? Do you think we should try to go after Udemy? Do you think we should boycott it? Or do you think that it's just the way it is? Let me know. Put your comments below. Thanks. Click that like button. Take care. Bye.